Hi, welcome back to Youth Yoga. So we're bringing yoga into our daily lives today with the five yamas. We have the first one is ahinsa, nonviolence. Second one we'll be practicing today is sutya, which is virtue and truthfulness. Our third is asteya, non-stealing. Fourth, brahmacharya, moderation. And fifth, aparagraha, non-attachment. So we'll be practicing sutya today, virtue and truthfulness. Being truthful in our thoughts, speech, and action. Speaking your truth and being authentic. Holding ourselves back from falsehood and twisting reality in our speech, thoughts, and actions. We can practice this by simply slowing down, filtering, and carefully considering our words so that when we choose them, they are in harmony with our first yama, ahinsa, nonviolence, not judging, not criticizing, nor comparing, being kind always, and speak with your truth, speak your truth with respect, compassion and kindness, making more thoughtful, conscious decisions during our day. I choose to live from the level of my true self. And here we're going to add a quote by Leo Tolstoy. There is only one time that is important now. It is the most important time we have any power. So just keeping that in mind that we live in the now, the present moment, and that is a time where we can act and do. All right, let's get started here. Let me turn on some music while we start to stand up. And today we'll have fun. Let's go ahead and start with standing up, hip width distance apart. Let's roll through the shoulders. Inhale, starting to bring that breath in and out of our nose. Nice deep breaths here. One more time, inhale, shoulder roll up. Exhale, shoulder roll, squeeze back and down. Let's go ahead and relax the head to one side. Inhale, it's a lift. And exhale to the other side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen all the way through the spine. Remember, we're gonna find our hinging hips, so let's just bring our hands right to where the hips and torso fold. Let's find that hip width distance apart, soften those knees, have those toes point forward. Then let's inhale, tuck in those abs, tighten that core, lift tall all the way through the torso. And let's exhale, hinge at the hips, pressing back. Hinge at the knees, look down to check your toes. Bring the weight into your heels. So this toes should point forward. Maybe the toes are lifting because our glutes are coming back and our heels are taking most of that weight. Let's go ahead and lift back up. Inhale, reaching up and over. Exhale again. Bring our hands back down to the fold of the hips. Take a nice deep breath. Roll the shoulders back. Let's exhale, sit it back. Just hinging, hips and glutes back, check the knees. You can still see your toes and the heels are grounded. Let's inhale, bring it back up, up and over. And exhale, back into our hinging chair. Hinge back, press the glutes back and down. Toes moving upward, heels grounding. Let's inhale, lengthen back up. As we have our hands on our hips, keep the knees soft, keep the torso, so head, heart, all in alignment, and allow the hips to switch back and forth as we keep this alignment. So it's just the hips, you're bending one knee and then lengthening the other. Allow the hips to move to the other side, bend the knee, lengthen the other. 
and just allow yourself to roll side to side here. Trying to keep that stability with head and heart staying still. Soles of the feet are grounded. All right, let's come to one end of our mat. Inhale, lengthen up and over. And exhale, we're gonna swan dive. So remember, hinge at the hips, tight core. Bring yourself all the way to the floor. Soften those knees. Let's inhale to monkey, look forward. And let's exhale, bring it into downward facing dog. Pressing heels down, pressing through the palms of the hands. Let's go ahead and make our way into plank. And start to bring the elbows in. Coming through crocodile as we bring chin down first, then the heart, then the hips. Let's inhale, baby cobra. Keep elbows back, shoulders rolled back, palms lifting up off the mat. Abs are tucked in. Let's exhale, press into the hands. Inhale, come into our partial plank. And let's exhale, we're gonna come first into our wide-legged extended child's pose. So as we get grounded here, glutes come to heels. Let's open up through the knees. Bring the forearms down for a moment. And as we stabilize on those forearms, let's relax the head and gently move from one side to the other. Just swaying the head. Then let's find center and say yes. And then take a nice deep inhale. We're going to exhale, release those hands all the way forward, release the head and the body as close as we can to the ground. Let's start to bring it back up after a couple of deep breaths in and out of the nose, finding feet or knees directly under the hips, palms grounded underneath the shoulders. We're coming into our cow pose as we inhale, look forward, heart forward, gaze forward, exhale, let's move into cat, navel to spine, inhale, coming back into cow, exhale, moving into cat, inhale, cow, exhaling, cat, Let's inhale to a flat back. Now having those knees under the hips, we're gonna add arms to this. So let's exhale, hips come back, glutes come back to our heels, and we're gonna keep our hands forward for extended child's pose, but let's check on one hand. We're gonna keep our eyes on one hand. Let's inhale, draw that hand up like we would windmill here, palm faces away from you. Exhale, reach it all the way back keeping your same body posture, and then watching that hand glide it all the way forward. Now, palm grounds, let's take the opposite hand. Inhale, lengthen up to that windmill. Palm away from you. Exhale, watch the hand come all the way back and down. And then start to glide that hand all the way forward again. We're gonna do this two more times. Let's inhale, lengthen up, windmill. Exhale, reach it back. Glide that hand forward as we inhale. Exhale, release for a moment. Ground this hand, let's inhale, opposite hand comes up. Exhale, drop back, keeping the eyes on the hand. Inhale, glide that arm hand forward. Exhale, release the head for a moment. Inhale, lengthen that other arm up. Last one for the side, windmill. Exhale, release back and down. Inhale, glide it forward. Exhale, release the head. Inhale, lengthen the opposite arm up, windmill. Exhale, release back and down. Inhale, glide that forward. Exhale, release the head. Let's inhale, come all the way up. 
we want to move into our downward facing dog. So press the feet down into your mat. Find what's comfortable, shoulder width distance apart, feet hip width distance apart, sending the heels closer to our mat as our knees soften a little. This time, let's exhale, walk our hands back to our toes. And we're gonna find our ragdoll here. So this means that we have our hip width distance apart. So let's go ahead and inhale first for a moment. We're gonna find our ragdoll as we bring a block between the legs to help us keep hip width distance apart. So as we come all the way back up, you're gonna grab a small block and let's put it right between the inner thighs an inch or two above the knees. Make sure you can keep that hip width distance apart here. Press through the soles of the feet, those knees are soft, hands on hips again. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna exhale, hip crease, tight core, forward fold all the way to the floor, then relax the arms and hands. Let's bring the arms and hands into the folds of our elbows, resting them there. Keep those knees soft. Remember, micro bend. We have a little bit of bend in the knees. Release head, neck, shoulders. And if you want to add to this exercise, you can move the hips gently side to side. Allowing one leg to lengthen, the opposite to bend like we did when we started out with our hips side to side. Same concept here as we allow the hips to move side to side, relaxing the torso as we breathe. Let's go ahead and inhale up to flat back. Keep those knees soft. Flat back is parallel with the floor. Roll those shoulders back, lengthen through the neck. We're tightening now into our quads, our glutes back here, and sending that energy into the heels as we inhale. Flat back lifts us all the way up and over. Exhale, drawing hands to heart. Let's go ahead and take a moment to remove that block that helped us keep our hip width distance apart. And it also helped in engaging our inner thighs and drawing in and upward into our torso and lengthening all the way through. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen back up. Exhale, release the arms, pressing all the way back and down. Step one leg forward. So remember, with one leg forward, hips are forward for our warrior one, knee is bent, toes point forward. That back leg is lengthened, toes are at an angle. Let's bring those hips forward and inhale, bring those arms up. Let's exhale, widen those arms out to open cactus release all the way down. This time, let's hinge forward with a flat back, sweep those arms forward. All the way up, lengthen through the torso, exhale, open up into that cactus arms. Release all the way down. Hinge forward, inhale, sweep those arms forward and up. Lengthen all the way back up, exhale, cactus arms. Releasing back and down. Hands back on hips, step the leg forward. Draw the opposite leg back. We're coming right into the other leg. Knee alignment with our ankle, toes point forward, hips, hands on hips, hips point forward, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, go ahead and stabilize. We're gonna start the movement in our warrior one. So let's inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, palms open, cactus arms. Release all the way down, flatten through the back. Inhale, sweep it forward and up. Exhale, open cactus arms again. Release the arms all the way back and down as much as we can, hinge forward. Inhale. Exhale. Try and release all the way down. Let's take hands on hips, step it forward. Take a nice deep breath, exhale. This time, as we step back, check your alignment with your foot because we're coming all the way back to the ball of the foot. Heel lifts up. 
Coming into that high lunge. Inhale, cactus arms. Let's exhale, start to draw those cactus arms together as we bring that leg back to hip width distance apart. Press our elbows together. Lift the elbows up off the chest. Let's go ahead and send the other leg back for on Janyasana or our high lunge as we open back up into cactus. Nice deep inhale, let's exhale, step it forward. Palms together, zip down to the elbows. Step the other leg back. We're on the ball of the foot. Inhale, open up. Exhale, step it back. Zip up the arms, elbows together. Inhale, come back into high lunge. Opposite foot. And exhale, bring it back. Zip up the arms. And let's release down to heart center. Step the opposite leg back. Hands on hips. And this time we are coming into a warrior. We want to come into our warrior pose, so warrior two. Let's press that lengthen leg down, toes to the side. Hips are still face forward. Let's gently start to open those hips up to the side. So now we're facing forward. Legs and hips stay the same. We check in with the knee, the toes. And then we just bring the arms up. Palms face down in that T pose. And we're gonna look forward over the fingertips with that front leg. Take a nice deep breath, let's exhale, release the hand back behind us. Palm faces up with the front arm and inhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, let's move back into warrior two. Release the arm, palm up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, first warrior, or reverse warrior. <laughs> And exhale, warrior two. As we're in warrior two, let's lengthen this front leg. So now both legs are lengthened, hips are open. Draw the arms back out. We're hinging at that front hip and drawing forward, really reaching, using all our torso strength. Relax that hand. Start to bring the other hand all the way up. Remember, no weight on the hand that's either close to the leg or resting. Let it be a guide here as we're in triangle pose. Let's exhale, slowly release, hand to hip. Inhale, keep the length of legs, palm up. Reverse warrior with our length of legs this time. Couple of breaths here. And let's exhale, release that. Draw the hips forward, soften that front knee. Let's step it forward. We're coming to the opposite leg. Draw that other leg back. Remember, we're coming into a warrior. So this time the leg lengthens, points off to the side, front knee bends right above the ankle. You can see your toes, hands on hips. We're opening the hips to the side. Let's bring those arms up. Look over the front arm here with the bent knee. And now, palm faces up, release the back hand. Let's inhale, lengthen up, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two, palms down. Inhale, palm up, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, palm up, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Let's roll the shoulders back, tight abs strike through our legs and the soles of our feet. Then let's lengthen through that front leg. Now we have to lengthen legs. Exhale, hinge at this front hip. Draw that arm forward, really reaching. Stacking shoulders here, stacking our hips one on top of the other. Release that hand. Let's lift the opposite hand up. Remember, we're using torso strength here. Our abs are engaged, our obliques are engaged. It's lifting us up so that we don't use strength in the hand and arm. 
finding your breath here. Inhale. Let's exhale. Keep that same posture. Bring hand it was up to the hip. Palm faces up with the other hand as we lengthen up. We're going to come into that reverse warrior with a lengthened legs. Let's exhale. Release our reverse warrior, hands on hips. Draw those hips forward, soften that front knee. Let's step it forward. As we step it forward, we're gonna come back, maybe turning around on the mat if you're at one side. Let's inhale, lengthen up and over. And exhale, forward fold. And this time when we're forward fold, let's grasp those arms all the way around. Try and grasp our elbows or our forearms or our hands. Giving ourselves a tight squeeze here. Then let's release hands back to the mat. Let's inhale. Hands can come to the shins or the mat. Knees soft, flatten back, heart forward, gaze forward for monkey. Let's exhale and release. Let's take it from monkey into gorilla. So palms face up, fingers face behind you. Lift up one foot at a time as we step on the hands. Allowing it to come to the bend in the wrist. Knees are so soft and bent so that we can get those hands underneath our feet. Once you're stepping on those hands, start to release and relax here. Slowly starting to lengthen through the knees, lengthening through the legs with each and every breath. So focusing on our inhale, expanding, lengthening, and our exhale, we're just relaxing, sinking deeper into the bones. Maybe not that deep. <laughs> All right, you okay over there? <laughs> okay, let's gently release that. Let's walk our hands forward. Coming all the way back into our downward facing dog. <laughs> Finding our breath again. Nice deep inhales and exhales. And let's move into our plank pose. Can we hold it in plank? Just a couple of breaths here. Try and lengthen out through the body. Tighten those glutes, tighten those abs. Roll the shoulders back. Feel the length from heel to crown. One more breath. Let's exhale, release those knees. We're gonna come all the way back and you choose the child's pose you want to come into. So glutes to heels, release forward and down to your comfort. And let's find our breath again. Take in a nice deep breath. Exhale, let's start to come all the way back up. And as we come to the knees in our hero's pose, let's inhale, lengthen the arms up and over. We wanna exhale, open up. So as we're in hero's pose, you can stay right where you're at. We're gonna open up to one side. Those abs are tight here. And then we're gonna inhale, lengthen up and over. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, up and over. Exhale. We're cooling down as we twist. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And let's just exhale, relax those arms all the way down to our sides. As we do, maybe coming slightly more forward, we're going to lengthen our legs out. Finding that hip width distance apart. Grounding through the glutes. So let's rock gently left and right. Pulling ourselves or hinging ourselves forward slightly. And then 
as we feel grounded into our sit bones, our knees might be soft, our toes are pointing upward. So it's okay if the legs aren't completely on the ground. You can have soft knees here. Sitting nice and tall. Let's exhale and just slowly release ourselves, heart first, forward. And then grab a hold of anywhere along the legs as far as you have gone. Take another deep breath as we have that grip. And let's exhale, try to press the legs now down into the ground. Let's inhale, take another deep breath as we press the heart forward towards the legs. And we exhale, we tuck in those abs, we squeeze the abs towards our back. We keep a nice flat back, one more breath and flat back. And let's exhale, release the head all the way down between the arms towards the knees. Still focusing on our breath here. And let's exhale, we're gonna gently release and come all the way back up. And as we do, let's move forward we're getting ready for our Shavasana as we round the back, bring knees into chest, squeeze tight. And if it feels good to roll around or roll side to side, then we do. We just roll a little bit around on the back. Whether it's side to side, up or down, or in circles. Enjoy the little bit of back massage here. And then let's start to release. Let's start to relax. Letting go of the back. Relaxing the back. Bringing hands to the abs, anywhere along the abs, the chest, or maybe both hands are on the abs. Let's go ahead and inhale, feeling that expansion breath. And exhale, feeling that release and relaxation back down into the earth. One more time, inhaling and expanding. Exhale and releasing. Now that we're into the full belly breath here, we're gonna come to the sound of hum for our throat chakra. As today we learn in Sutya, truthfulness. And being our authentic selves comes from our throat. And the connection of our heart and our intuition, our third eye. So let's move into the throat where we can hum. So take a nice deep inhale here. And as we exhale, hum. Another deep inhale to hum. Hum. Last one here, nice deep breath. Hum. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Starting to relax as you feel that vibration you created in your throat. Maybe a little bit in our sinuses and head and a little bit in our heart. Go ahead and start to open the palms, ready to receive. And when you're ready, let's elongate down through the legs. Allow the feet to flop open. Allow ourselves to completely relax here in our Shavasana. Coming to the breath. And as we breathe in and out, we're aware of our thoughts. And we allow them to dissipate as we relax, as we exhale. And we think of our thoughts, our speech, and our actions during the day. 
holding ourselves back from falsehood and twisting our reality within our heads, within our minds, our speech, and our actions. We practice this by simply slowing down. We filter and carefully consider our words so that when we choose our words, they're in harmony with the first yama, ahimsa. Nonviolence, not judging, criticizing, nor comparing, being kind always with our words as we speak, our truth with respect, compassion, and kindness. Today, we choose to live from the level of our true self. The decision to live in the now means consciously, knowingly, recognizing that awareness is our true nature. When we see ourselves as separate, ego, trying to get power to make us happy, we will always feel weak inside. But when we are self-aware in the present moment, we are connected. We are connected to the infinite power of creation. And we feel the confidence and the strength that comes with having the support of the universe within us. I choose to live from the level of my true self. Taking that extra moment to ponder our thoughts and our actions before we speak. And being careful to not judge, criticize, or compare as we use kind words. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Coming back to our awareness of our breath. As we come back into our expanding breath, where we started today, as we start to come back to awareness, bringing hands maybe back over the, hand, the heart and the abs. Feeling that expanding breath as we rise. And exhale, sinking breath as it falls back down to earth. Couple more expanding breaths here. Exhale, sinking into earth. One more deep inhale as we expand. And exhale, letting that go. As we let go, let's move our fingers, our toes. Gently coming to our sides in that fetal position. And as we come to the sides, take a moment, maybe just to be here for a moment. Maybe to squeeze the knees into the chest and round the back. Getting ready for a happy, wonderful day. As we now press through the palms of our hands, let's use that arm strength like we would for a push-up. As we press ourselves away from the mat, coming all the way back up, coming to our easy cross-legged style. Taking a few deep breaths as we allow the shoulders to roll back. Maybe a little more movement here. And then thank you. Thank you for joining me for Youth Yoga. 
Namaste. Have a wonderful day today.